In this video, we will demonstrate how to assign 3D pleat properties to 2D pleat internal lines. Once we assign 3D pleat properties, the pleat lines are automatically folded and stitched during simulation. Let's first include these patterns in 3D. We select all the pieces, right-click for the pattern menu, and choose the command, Include Selected Patterns in 3D. Now we assign pleat properties to the pleat lines using the Internal Line 3D Property tool, which is located in the Internal Line toolbar. Using the P Quick Step for pleat, we select the middle pleat line for each pleat object. Each pleat object should be made up of three pleat lines. Box pleats may be made up of either five or six pleat lines. In this example, there are five pleat lines for each box pleat. When we select the center line of each side of the box pleat with the P Quick Step, the three pleat lines turn green in response. Notice that the center pleat line is a darker green. We want to set the pleat lines to have an ironed look and also reverse the full direction of the right side of each box pleat so that the two sides will meet in the center. For this, we open up the internal line property window. We select the dark green center line of the right side and assign the reverse fold property to it. Now we stitch the patterns together. When we select the skirt for stitching, notice how the entire waist section gets selected with one click. This is because the pleats are ignored as 3D objects. We arrange the top pieces in the front torso cluster and the back pieces in the back torso cluster. We then place the waistbands in the front waist and back waist clusters and the skirts in the front skirt and back skirt clusters. Now let's load the style into V-Stitcher. Here you can see the pleats show up as 3D objects. Notice the white solid pleat lines on the outside are thicker than the middle white solid line. This indicates the fold direction, where the thicker line folds onto the thinner line. We then check the arrangement in V-Stitcher. All the pieces are in the right clusters, but they need a little adjustment. We can move each pattern individually, or move the blue dot in each cluster in order to shift all the patterns within the cluster. Now let's dress the garment for simulation. Notice how the left side of the box pleat folds to the right and the right side of the box pleat folds to the left due to the reverse fold property that we assigned, creating this inverted box pleat look. This completes a demonstration on how to handle pleats in StyleCAD so that 3D simulation becomes easier.